Flip a switch in this mouse's brain and he'll change from a mild-mannered rodent to an attack animal. By activating specific nerve cells using light, researchers are mapping the connections in the brain that power these outbursts. Many of the same threats that get a rise out of humans provoke mice. Male mice will defend their territory from intruders. Females defend their young. Scientists are studying the nerve signals that fuel these conflicts as part of a larger effort to untangle how the brain is wired for aggression in mice, flies, and ultimately humans. Such work points to a bundle of nerve cells that regulate basic but seemingly unrelated drives, such as mating and aggression. These neurons reside within the hypothalamus, a region in the center of the brain. Thanks to new genetic tools, researchers have identified a hot spot for rage within this region. It's called the ventrolateral area of the ventromedial hypothalamus, or VMHBL for short. Another aggression zone sits in the nearby medial amygdala, Understanding how these neuron clusters connect to each other and other areas of the brain could reveal whether aggression networks are widespread or centralized. Researchers are looking at aggression in other creatures as well. In male fruit flies, a similar network of neurons can provoke a fight over food or females. Whether you're a fly or a mouse, rage networks may be wired differently in males and females. But across the animal kingdom, sex and violence seem to be closely linked. In fact, some of the same nerve cells that drive mice to fight might also drive them to mate. Digging into the roots of aggression could also help explain and perhaps one day control violent behaviors in humans.